Yeah, yeah. Hey, let me call you back. So let me see that report card, son. C's? You got C's? How dumb are you? Obviously, you didn't try as hard as you can. The next time you bring back one of these, it better be straight A's. Do you understand me? Yes, Dad. Now go to your room. This kid. Hey, bud, let's take a look at the report card. Thank you. Bud, C's. How did this happen? How can we do better next time? Maybe we can work on reading a little bit more? Okay, that's the spirit. I know you didn't mean to get these bad grades, but I know you can do better. How about we work together on your homework this time? Okay, and less playtime. Deal? Deal. All right. All right. See you later. That was a tough loss, son. I'm sorry. Yeah, I mean, Dad, I just, I just feel like I let everybody down. Hey. The point of making mistakes is to learn from them. And we all have moments like this. Don't be too hard on yourself. What do you say we go over the court by our house when we work on some of the plays so you're ready to go next time? I think I'd like that. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. What kind of play was that, son? You're embarrassing everyone out here tonight, including me. I don't know, Dad. What, I... are you going to cry now? No, you no, sir. Off. There's no time for that. You need to be a man. Now, I want you to go get your stuff. We're going to go over to the court by the house, and I'm going to show you exactly what you did wrong. Now, go get your stuff. I love that idea. Let's grab lunch next week and talk more about it. Okay? I enjoyed it, too. Hey, I got to go. Can I call you back? All right. Thanks. Hey. Hey, Dad, you got a sec? Of course. I got all my college letters back. Great, let's take a look. Awesome. Okay. We knew these ones were going to be tough anyways. Yeah, yeah, but but I at least got into the state school. <laughs> That's fantastic. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Thank yeah. you. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Thank you. It's, it's not exactly what we wanted. No, it's not, but you know what the great thing is? You can work really hard for the next couple of years, and if you still want to reapply to an Ivy League school, we'll try to transfer then. You got this. I'm proud of you. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. You done? Hey, what's up? Just got my college letters back. Sweet. Let's check it out. See what we got here. Oh, this is horrible. Dad, I got I got into the state school. Like that's some big accomplishment. You should be in an Ivy League. Here, take this. I gotta get back to work. Yes, sir. You know, you really should start to try harder. Come on. We've all been in one of these positions, or we're doing one of these to our kids today. It's common to parent the way we were parented, or to avoid that style because we saw the negative sides of it. Expecting our children to perform at everything all of the time is a recipe for disaster. There is no one who can genuinely excel at everything all of the time. Let them fail. Let them learn how to pick themselves up and support them. Let them make mistakes. Let them learn how to rectify them and improve. Don't confuse punishment with discipline. Condemning or punishing kids makes them experience pain for a mistake. Discipline is teaching them how to avoid that mistake in the future. There's no need for a parent to throw a pity party or be encouraging when their child does something wrong. But at the same time, it's so important that we realize that condemning or putting them down doesn't work either. Don't expect a perfect report card, even if you had one. Let your child express themselves, not be forced to suppress themselves. Let them become who they want to be, not who you want it to be, or who you want them to be. We've all been told two lies in our life. Number one, you'll be nothing. And number two, you can be anything. Because the truth is, 
You can't be anything you want, but you can be everything you are. That's the message we need them to understand.